Welcome back to the SCAP e-learning course on BPA for trade facilitation. In this module, we are going to introduce to you a set of standard graphical notations called Unified Modeling Language, or UML for short. The key message in this module is to recommend that pictures or diagrams to be used to capture and describe the business process in the scope of our analysis. A key reason why UML is recommended for BPA is that any complicated business processes, especially those related to international trade transactions, can be less ambiguous and be more precise when they are visualized and captured with diagrams. Therefore, topics that we are going to cover in this module include, firstly, what is UML? and why it is recommended to be used for business process analysis. Two types of UML diagrams, so-called use case diagrams and actuality diagrams, will be introduced in this model. Some case examples will also be discussed to illustrate our lessons. So let us start by asking uh, what is UML? UML or Unified Modeling Language is a well-known set of standard diagrams and notations used for capturing, visualizing, and communicating business processes in the scope of a business process analysis study. We propose that a business process under our investigation shall be described not only in the verbal communication language, but it should be captured with pictures, diagrams, along with written formats. So again, why UML is recommended? This is because diagrams, along with these written descriptions, can be visualized and can be developed to clearly capture the as-is business processes. And then, any bottlenecks, any redundancies in procedurals and document requirements, and also improvement recommendations and also the better to be business process in the domain of our interest can also be analyzed and proposed. And since uh, UML is an international standard widely used by practitioners in government and business sectors, especially by those involving in business process analysis, information systems design and software development, so UML allows policy managers, business domain experts, and process analysis to communicate procedural and documentary requirements. This is good for analysis, good for generating implementation and improvement recommendations. There are several types of diagrams in unified modeling language, but for our context, we would recommend only two main types of UML diagrams for business process analysis, namely use case diagrams and secondly, the actuary diagrams. What they are and for what purposes of these use case diagrams and actuary diagrams in the context of business process analysis? Let us start discussing about the use case diagrams. A use case diagram is used to capture a high-level view of business process or a high-level view of a core business process. A use case diagram normally captures three main types of information, which are firstly, the high-level business processes, secondly, actors or stakeholders involving with those uh, business processes, and the third type of information uh, within the normal use case diagram is the association or relationships that showing a relationship between those main procedures and actors. Therefore, within uh, any use case diagram, there are normally three main uh, symbols or three main notations uh, used for drawing a use case diagram. The first one is an oval shape symbol. This is called a use case. A use case or oval symbol represents a high-level 
wizard process. The second type of symbol is a human shape symbol, represents an actor or stakeholder. A third type of notation is a straight line. This line represents an association or a relationship, normally connecting between an actor and a use case. One additional symbol with a folder shape is called subject boundary. And this subject boundary is used to group a set of use cases. This group of use cases can be grouped together for easy reference. Now, let us see some case examples. Uh, this figure shows a simple use case diagram with just two actors and one use case. The first actor represents an importer. The second actor represents an exporter. And one use case, in this case, it is called conclude sales contract and trade terms, or buy for short. Uh, note again that a use case is labeled with a verb phrase. And you could see the lines represent association or involvement between these two actors and this use case. Please uh, notice that a use case diagram in our BPA study is normally used to communicate a high-level frame of reference, illustrating a high-level business process and its associated actors. Now, let us see a more complicated example. A use case diagram shown in this figure represents a larger scope of international trade transaction for the case of a shrimp exportation from Thailand. This diagram clearly illustrates that there are 15 actors and 11 high-level business processes or 11 use cases. And the scope covering from the buy uh, business process or buy use case, which is about the conclude sales contract and trade terms, and also the chip use case or chip business process involving several government related procedures and transport related uh, processes uh, until the vessel uh, carrying the products leaving from the port. And then the pay business process or pay use case for payment of goods related procedures. So next, uh, let us uh, discuss about the second type of UML diagrams recommended for business process analysis and modeling. This is called activity diagrams. So what is activity diagram? An activity diagram is a diagram that illustrates detailed flow of activities. It is recommended that an activity diagram is used to capture a detailed elaboration of a use case diagram by illustrating several attributes of the business process, including firstly, activities that come in a specific order or going to some decision points. Secondly, actors who perform those activities. Then define inputs and outputs for of each activity, also criteria for entering and existing the business process, relationships among actors, and also information flow. For an example, an activity diagram as shown in this figure illustrates the detailed flow of activities for the use case diagram of conclude sales contract and trade terms. You could notice that there are two swim lanes within this activity diagram. Since this buy or conclude sales contract and trade terms involving with two actors, namely exporter and importer, the activities and their flow carried out by an exporter are in the left swim lane. And within the light swim lane, there are several activities and flow that are carried out by the importer. Let's see another more complicated uh, use case diagram, and it's 
corresponding actuator diagram as shown in these pictures. The use case of half product sample and examine involves three main actors, namely an exporter, authorized private inspector, and a department of fisheries. Since this is a case of exportation of shrimps, the activity diagram on the right hand side illustrates the detailed activities and documentary requirements for this uh, corresponding use case. So again, for our notation, please notice that each uh, capsule symbol represents an activity which should be a non decomposable piece of behavior. Uh, note also that an activity should be leveled again with a verb phrase. For example, referring to this activity diagram, you can see an activity of half product ready for sampling. Other inf important symbols within activity diagram include the black circle symbol represents an initial state or the beginning of the set of activities in this activity diagram. The blue eye symbol represents the final activity state or the completion of this business process. The circle with cross mark uh, represents the terminal state, indicating that further activities cannot be pursued. The transition line represents an arrow line indicating a sequential flow of actions and information. Okay, next please notice the fork or splitting of control symbol visualizes a set of parallel or concurrent flow of activities. Next is the join or synchronization of control symbol indicates the end of parallel or concurrent flow of activities. The rectangle symbol represents a document or a piece of information that flows from one activity to another activity. This rectangle symbol should be leveled with the name of that document or the name of that piece of information. The diamond shape symbol represents a decision point where a decision has to be made based on some specific conditions. So with these notations in mind, please see the following activity diagram as an another example. This activity diagram shows the sequence of activities for obtaining a rice export permit use case. Uh, this diagram clearly illustrates uh, that the exporter need to prepare documents for the application of export permit by preparing five different documents. And those five documents need to be submitted to the Department of Foreign Trade in this case. And at the Department of Foreign Trade, some government officials need to verify all those submitted documents and then decide whether to issue an export permit or not. So in summary, uh, this module briefly introduces a graphical representation of Unified Modeling Language, or UML, which is a well-known set of standard diagrams and notations used for capturing, visualizing, and communicating business processes in a scope of a business process analysis study. Two main types of UML diagrams are recommended to be used as a tool to capture these business processes and their attributes. The use case diagram should be used to visualize a high-level view or an abstract view of business processes and its associated actors. And three main symbols used for use case diagrams somehow force us to think abstractly about actors or roles of individuals. Use case or core business processes and relationships between or among those actors and use cases. And then the second type of UML diagram is actuary diagram.
that we recommend here. The actuator diagram is used to capture the detailed flows of activities and required documents. Both use case diagrams and activity diagrams can help us to capture the existing or the as-is business processes in a more precise fashion than just verbal communication. And these graphical notations would help all stakeholders to understand the current business processes and also their complications. And therefore, implementation opportunities and better to be conditions can be further communicated, analyzed, and proposed. So the concept mentioned in this module will be further utilized and explored in the following learning modules. With that, I thank you for your interest, and I hope to see you again in the next session.